All right, I'm here on kind of a mobile call on this uh, 2004 Honda Element. It's not starting. I think it needs a battery. On these, you can't really see the starter from underneath. So what I'm going to do is uh, take this intake manifold off real quick <clears throat> and uh, pull the starter out, take a look at it. First thing we'll do is take this uh, brace off and get it out of the way real quick. It's 10 millimeter bolts, so I'll get set up for that, and then we'll take that off. All right, so you got to pull this thing out. Uh, you have the, there's two here for the radiator, 10 millimeter, and you have two on each side that go to the frame of the car. Uh, and then you have one down below. You got to pull that shield off the bottom. There's one 10 millimeter down below, and then you have a couple different. You know, your wiring harness goes into it in a couple different places. So I'll get that out, kind of remove it out of the way. I already got the engine cover off. It's two 10 millimeter bolts. So now we're going to go uh, start taking the uh, intake manifold loose. Yeah, we're not going to pull it all the way out. We're just going to pull it up and move it out of the way a little bit. So I'll kind of show you how to do that. I did this, uh, I changed the knock sensor on this car about six months ago. And I had to remove this intake manifold. It's not too hard. Uh, all the bolts are right here. And I know uh, Scotty Kilmore made a video about this and kind of cried about it. But it's really not that bad. So. We'll get these off here. These are all 10 mil. And uh, I think you can pretty much lift this up out of the way without taking a whole bunch of this stuff off. You don't have to take your throttle body and that stuff off. It should move up out of the way enough. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself later. Uh, but anyway, we'll get to work on this manifold next. Well, that's kind of the problem with uh, doing mobile calls. You have to bust out these archaic tools we have here. So I use. I should have brought my Milwaukee with me. Electric ratchet. Can only get the impact in so many places on these. I went ahead to the throttle body loose. It's four bolts. Uh, got that loose. You have a uh, vacuum line here that comes off. You got a pigtail here. And then there's a bolt underneath it. I'm not going to be able to show you. But if you get under the car and look, file the manifold, there's a bracket that comes down and bolts into the block. You have to take that out. It's 112 millimeter. And then this thing should pull up out of the way. I'll kind of show you where the starter's at. So there's your starter right there. So we're gonna unhook these uh, wires right here and pull this completely out, and then I'll show you how to get that starter. All right, so the starter's loose. You got two bolts. You have the bottom one right here that goes through the transmission engine. It's a 17 millimeter. Then you got this long weird one. 14 millimeter that goes on the top of the starter and then you have your solenoid wire right here just pull that straight out and then you can pull your starter back a little bit pull this boot off and you have a bolt right there and get that loose and then the starter should pull out so we'll go ahead and take this off and then we'll pull this out all right so that's a 12 millimeter bolt or nut take that off remove your battery cable then this will flip this will fish right out of there uh, you can see with the manifold off, you know, you got plenty of access to it. It's not that bad. I know a lot of guys complain about the location of the starter on these engines, but I've actually done dealt with way worse than this on some of the Cadillacs and stuff. So uh, this really isn't that bad to me. You just pull your manifold off. You got a couple uh, nuts for your throttle body, a couple uh, vacuum lines, electrical outlets, and then it's good to go. So it's really not that bad. So since it's a mobile call, I'm going. I don't have the starter yet. So I'm going to go get the starter, come back, and then we'll put it back in and hope that she cranks. Just uh, <clears throat> set your new starter in there, hook up your uh, cell line wire, and just, pu just push it in, and then tighten down your battery cable, 12 mil. Tighten yourself pretty tight, 
and then you just uh, put it back in the hole and start your bolts. So we'll line it up and then start the bolts and tighten it back up. Is the battery disconnected? Much easier when you got to Milwaukee. Let's just put the manifold back on your throttle body, reverse how you took it off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on, the battery back in, and then we'll test it out. We'll pick back up with it. Everything back together and get the manifold all that back on. Uh, make sure you plug in all anything you took off, your hoses, all that. I got the covers back on. One thing I forgot to mention, if you are taking your starter off, make sure you disconnect your battery uh, before you do that, otherwise you'll be welding down there. So anyway, once you get it all back together, the only thing we have to do is to test it. So we'll go ahead and hit the starter and see if she stars, fires up. There you go. So that's uh, pretty much it for a starter on a 04 element. It's probably the same for all of them. 03 to 11 or whatever it is before they quit. So it's not too bad of a job. Just, uh... You know, take your hose off, upper manifold, and uh, should be, you know, less than an hour, I would say. It's not too bad. Not as bad as people make it out to be anyway. So, anyway, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Appreciate you watching and stopping by uh, Hookies.